Master the Moves, Unlocking English Idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, Master the Moves. This idiom is packed with meaning and is commonly used in various contexts. So, if you're ready to expand your English vocabulary and understanding, let's get started. The phrase, master the moves, can be broken down into two key parts. First, master implies gaining complete control or becoming highly skilled in something. It's about achieving a level of expertise. The second part, the moves, typically refers to specific actions, techniques, or strategies. When combined, master the moves means to become highly skilled or proficient in particular actions or techniques. This phrase is often used in the context of physical activities like dance or sports, but it can also apply to mental or strategic skills in various fields. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in different contexts. 1. In sports, she has mastered the moves required to be a top gymnast. 2. In dance, to excel in salsa, one must master the moves and understand the rhythm. 3. In business, successful entrepreneurs need to master the moves of effective leadership and decision-making. 4. In gaming, to win this game, players must master the moves and strategies of each character. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, adaptable to physical, artistic, and intellectual realms. When learning idiomatic expressions like, master the moves, it's crucial to avoid common mistakes. Here are a few tips. Don't take it literally all the time. The moves might not always mean physical movements. Context is key. Understand the situation or field where the phrase is used. It's not just about learning, it's about excelling. Master implies a high level of proficiency. To truly understand and use, master the moves, effectively, practice is essential. Try to use this phrase in your conversations or writing. Here are some prompts to help you. 1. Think of a skill you are good at and describe how you have mastered the moves in that area. 2. Create a sentence using the phrase in a context completely different from sports or dance. 3. Share your experiences where you observed someone mastering the moves in an unusual field. And that's a wrap on Master the Moves. We hope this video has helped demystify this interesting English idiom and has given you the confidence to use it in your daily conversations. Remember, mastering a language is all about understanding its nuances, and you're doing great. Stay tuned for more videos, and keep practicing.